evolved on this one lonely planet in this tiny sliver of time in an immensity of ages, are we the only ones? And if we're not, what are those other guys like? Uh, it seems to me it would be the most extraordinary discovery in, in the history of the world. ...of Europe and uh, just about to move from uh, sunlight into sunset, uh, thus the blooming effect of the uh, camera lens. Looks like you got an object right in front of you, Mark. Can you look out there? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Never mind. Are we missing something? I don't see anything. Yeah, we think the uh, camera filter came off, Mark. It's about your... Uh, about your 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock going away. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Discovery, we're sending you an order to stay, Vector. Copy. Yeah, we think the uh, camera filter came off, Mark. This is Mission Control Houston. This picture of the Russian space station Mir is being provided to us by the low light level cameras on board Discovery. Uh, physician Valery Polyakov, one of the Mir crew members, is uh, occasionally shining a flashlight at the crew members uh, to uh, help with the. Uh, Repress the right ohms to the B regs, please. We are now receiving pictures from both Discovery and from Mir. Houston, when can you get cameras again? Just about now. Good. It's unbelievable. 
что если смотреть на центральный пункт, то как бы влево чуть-чуть. Uh, that means we only have about uh, 30 or so feet to go before we reach our point of closest approach. This uh, particular picture is from Mir. And uh, all rendezvous activities continue to go very smoothly. All orbiter systems are functioning as expected. Я вижу твой объектив, хотелось бы увидеть и тебя тоже. Discovery and Mira now just south of the Kamchatka Peninsula and just to the uh, east of Japan. The two vehicles are about to start a southeasterly sweep above the uh, Pacific Ocean on Mir's 57th orbit of the mission and, uh, dis and well, on Discovery's 57th orbit of the mission and on Mir's 15th orbit of the day. This is Mission Control Houston. We are using the payload bay cameras right now to hopefully catch a glimpse of the Russian space station Mir as it performs an on-orbit burn. Though it will be difficult to uh, pick Mir out from the stars as they pass behind us, the uh, payload bay cameras are positioned such that they're looking straight back, back, straight back behind the orbiter where the mirror is flying at about 850 nautical miles behind us. No joy from here, sorry. I hope it was a good one, though, for our friends. Thank you, sir. We could not see it here either. We'll wait two or three more minutes till sunrise, and then uh, at that time give you a go for KU Stowe. We're to mission lapse time of 7 days, 13 hours, and 17 minutes. This is Mission Control, Houston. The uh, Mir Space Station is now visible on the uh, far left-hand side of the screen, about, about an inch from the bottom of this particular picture. Okay, the Mir space station is the small flashing light in the center about an inch from the left-hand side of the screen. It's slowly... Um, it is slowly moving closer to the left-hand side and is a very, has a very light flashing to it. We think on the middle of the screen, way to the left-hand side. We think you can see a flashing light just a little bit to the left of the center of the screen, very faint. Yeah, we do see something flashing visually, but we're not sure that that might be... Uh This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, we believe we were just able to spot the uh, Mir spacecraft as it flies about at 850 nautical miles behind Discovery. The uh, spacecraft appeared at as a uh, very small flashing light and then uh, moved out of the picture as the camera was uh, being moved to try to get a different picture. Go ahead. 